I just wanted to do a check-in um, I'm taking a small break to eat something because all I've had is coffee and I'm buzzing on caffeine right now um, so I ended up not making the hamburger steak last night because I passed out um, <laughs> I was really tired my husband ended up getting us food I'm just eating the leftovers it's just um, chicken beef is what I'm eating and garlic noodles and some strawberries so yeah That'll be tasty, but even though I didn't get to cook the steak, I did end up reading some pages, about 25 pages of The Three Body Problem. God, can you guys see the Netflix stick? Like, it's not even a sticker, it looks like a sticker, but it's just printed on the cover that drives me nuts. Like, why? Why? I just want to cover it up, but... The first two instances in the first 25 pages really threw me off guard because it was such a shock like a shocking way to start the story but i think it was very interesting um it kind of it so it made me really realize that i'm not as familiar with the cultural revolution that happened in china during this time period my family obviously left their home country because of communism to come to america to start new and have a better life so it's not something we talk a lot about in my family i think it is a very um, difficult subject for my grandma to talk about and my grandpa like never you know <laughs> so I'm just stressed out I'm worried about the character like our main female character so far um, I may believe this story goes through multiple generations and different POVs so I'm hoping everything turns out like, I don't know. I don't know a lot about this story. I'm going in blind by a recommendation and just seeing that there was a Netflix show and I just wanted to read the book before I checked out the show. So I'm kind of going in blind. I don't really know what's going on. So <laughs> I really am enjoying it so far though. But yeah, I'm going to eat, get back to work, and then maybe on my lunch break, read some more or work out. Can you guys tell I went to a, I was in ESL for a, a long time? <laughs> <laughs> Yum.
guys i wanted to do a check-in i picked up <clears throat> front desk i've gotten a pretty good chunk of the way through i am at the part where mia is writing the thank you letter to the doctor for helping her mom after she was attacked and getting the discount <laughs> the discount the price of the hospital girl i mia's experiences with racism not only against herself like her own race and but other races and terrible experiences with kind of the institutionalized racism in america is so real that it's so painful to read because it because you from my experience right her classmates making fun of her about being asian right people of authority in her life thinking less of her and not believing her when she has these stories or telling them things because of her race of her age of her gender you know so it is very real <laughs> for me at least so in that way it's very difficult for me to read because it feels like i am reliving some things from my past like there's in, in the beginning chapters i think it's just either chapter three chapter two or three where mia I think it's her mom where I don't know if it's either her mom or Mr. Yao is saying that Mia's English is never going to be good enough. It really like as someone who has English as a second language, it really hit hard. <laughs> it hits hard because and also the discussion of not being enough for one culture and not being enough for the other is very well done in this book. It's really it's so hard to like like i was crying because of the doctor saying i right? and like ugh, a tangent but i hate mr yao i hate mr yao with all my being and i can't like i don't know if jason it's just because jason is being a kid that he's so dumb but i cannot i don't like jason i don't like jason i don't like those three popular girls <laughs> can you tell i'm having like real life real life um flashbacks <laughs> about these experiences that i've gone through because of this book but so far i am enjoying it i think this is a very good book for young readers i think probably middle grade young adult to get into and start exploring more mature themes in their stories i think i might finish this tonight i am having man yeah this has been a surprisingly emotional roller coaster of a book for me. And I feel like I'm just like, ugh, like heart wrenching, you know? It's so hard. But I'm rooting for Mia. I just want the best for her and her parents. And I hate Mr. Yao. I hate him so much. I literally. God. Like, literally, if the purge was a real life thing. Mr. Yao, it's on site. <laughs> I stayed up till midnight reading front desk and some more of the three body problem i was also checking out the netflix show for this book as well <laughs> so far okay so i finished uh, front desk and i really enjoy it i think it was very gut-wrenching i think if you saw my previous uh check-in i was like crying because everything hit home so personally like everything felt too close to the heart for me <laughs> and i had a hard time with that i think overall especially if you are asian american or an asian immigrant you have or any immigrant really you have experience on some level in some capacity the type of racism and discrimination and oppression and being taken advantage of on some level that mia has experienced and witnessed in her everyday life um but yeah it was very difficult to read because i have experienced those things in my life so i know some people might say like the ending was unrealistic right but i think it you also have to keep in mind it's a, i think it's a middle grade juvenile book 
but it also is a book about inspiring hope right that these small acts of kindness and doing your best given the circumstances and the support that you receive from others it's like <laughs> it is like it gave me so much hope but also at the same time it made me really like someone like some terrible parts of my life <laughs> as for the three body problem i am enjoying it um i'm not that further along i'm using my hair tie <laughs> as a bookmark but i would say it is very interesting the prem the premise is very interesting in the cultural backdrop and how it influences the future events of the story it's very intriguing and then i feel very circular it's like how violence begets violence there is a family glossary because we do skip around in time in this book but i'm very interested in her i'm very interested in yang waning waning i'm so sorry i'm like please i'm not i'm not chinese okay if you have read the book minor spoilers that we see basically get executed in the beginning after being betrayed by his wife right at this current time we are following wang miao as he is discussing his relationship with the i think frontiers of science there is this war going on that we don't necessarily know what's happening he doesn't know what's happening everyone's being very secretive but there's also obviously these very prominent individuals in the science community committing suicide and there seems to be this belief that there is a cause that we don't particularly understand right so yeah so far i know dashi is supposed to be like a smug like kind of like an asshole crim like no he's not a criminal but i know dashi is supposed to be like kind of a like a dickhead but i'm, I'm digging the vibes because he's like thinking like big brain moves right he's already thinking like oh they're asking you this but what they're really meaning is they want to know all this information and they don't really care about you they just want the information that you know so i'm just like that's my boy right there i don't know if we actually get to know yang dong but i'm interested about her upbringing with her mom and dad given that they are part of this secret military operation and research facility so yeah check in with you guys later after i read some more drink my coffee enjoy the read Hey guys, I just wanted to do my final check-in and sign off for this vlog. I've been experiencing a lot of pain the past few days and I'm not feeling very well so fortunately I'm going to end it earlier than I normally do but I still hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Um, just a few <laughs> things before I sign off. Um, I ended up picking up The Crow Prince by Holly Black. Uh, I have the physical book, but I also am listening to it through Spotify. If you have a Spotify membership, you get, I think, 15 hours? I think it's 15. It's like 10 or 15 hours of free audiobooks a month, which is still kind of small. It's like if you do one week, one audiobook a week. But anyway, <laughs> that's a whole different issue. But that is an option if you do have a membership, you want to check it out. They have a lot of... Um, they have a lot of popular books as well, so 
if you already have the membership it doesn't hurt um <laughs> of course i like holly black's writing i am always been very sentimental when it comes to her books um <laughs> i just really i like i recently realized i've been saying tithe 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 wrong i've been calling it tithe like for like years now and i didn't realize till recently i've been saying it wrong but <laughs> whoops <laughs> i am enjoying it it is a fun read i think chewed is interesting and i think it's very it's fun to see that it's coming from a main lead that isn't beloved right away right it kind of felt like Jude was an outcast and she was treated like an outcast even though given her circumstances and her position within the court. Um, I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying kind of the um, so far only enemies aspect of this enemies to lovers. So yeah, you know, and I, I will admit I can be biased when it comes to Holly Box writing. Again, I have that bias with Tithe. So it is what it is. Um, I am looking forward to reading that and listening to the audiobook while I crochet another blanket. What's another book? I also finished Front Desk, which was so good. Um, <laughs> it devastated me emotionally in ways I didn't realize I could be devastated by a middle grade book. Um, it is a real testament to Kelly Yang's writing that she is able to make such an age appropriate book be so heart-wrenching but also so hopeful at the same time and I understand that there is some criticism that the ending is a little unrealistic that everything went perfectly at the end really quickly and I could see how that could be not not the ideal ending given the realistic nature of the rest of the book but I will say that I think at the end of the day this is a book about hope and the immigrant experience and being more than just what people are expecting of you and i said yeah i also picked up the three body problem and while i am enjoying it and i think aspects are very interesting i am having a little bit of trouble with the pacing and i think it's just because i don't care about the video game sequences you know <sighs> The pacing issues I'm experiencing are due to it being a translated work or if it's just prevalent in the original works and it just care you know like I don't know but maybe this is something that gets remedied in the future books but I am enjoying it regardless it is a very interesting take on the cultural revolution the ideas that the the intertwining of science with philosophy in a poetic way but also very scientifically minded i will say <laughs> i went to school for research i was going to be a research writer um if i had continued on that path instead of going into finance but a requirement was taking a lot of stem related courses and this solidified to me that I am not a science girl. <laughs> I am not a science girly, okay? <laughs> like, I struggled with physics. So, like, the idea of, like, them discuss, like, so they discuss, like, certain scientific processes and ideas and theories, right? And I'm kind of, like, just stupid. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. And that's just me, okay? I'm just stupid. I will say, can Louis does an amazing job of explaining a lot and breaking a lot of things down in the translator notes so that is in a positive as well but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are staying safe if you like the video uh please like comment and subscribe if you want if not that's okay i'm not gonna be mad i promise i swear okay <laughs> i swear okay um but yeah uh, I'll probably talk to you guys later.